Hey there, I'm Eki and I've been obsessed with V Rising. It's a really cool and addictive early access survival game where you play as a vampire. But because it's early access, there are still going to be a lot of new features. So I decided to make a list of the things I would like to see in the game. Quick disclaimer though, I don't play PvP, so these are from the perspective of a PvE player and I don't have a lot of ideas for combat. But if you do play PvP and have some ideas, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. I also know this isn't a Subnautica video, but if you still clicked on it, I really appreciate you and I hope I'll be able to release a lot more V Rising content soon. I've divided this video into four groups. Quality of life, combat, building and utility. So let's get started with quality of life. Oh yeah, uh, this new thing I'm gonna do. My favorite comment under the last video was this one by Squishy Catboy. Glad you like my voice. Starting off simple, I think water flasks and bottles shouldn't be consumed when you drink them. Give us back the empty versions, especially on horses. It might be a simple thing, but constantly having to craft them does get annoying after a while. Staying on the topic of horses, just general improvements. I'd like them to be permanently owned so other people can't steal them. Some horse armor to equip them for battle would also be great. And of course for that you would also need better combat on horses. I don't have any specific ideas but I'm sure you could do more than just swing your weapon. Maybe you could hold out a sword and damage any enemies you ride past. There could also be saddlebags so you can store some stuff on your horse so you could basically just farm more stuff. Another thing I literally just thought of while editing this video is maybe give horses more stats and ways to improve their stats as well. This might be with potions or just passively improving them by using your horse. But I think if horses started off with worse stats like a max speed of 8 and then training them somehow to make their stats better would also be a really interesting gameplay loop. Also, maybe a building like horse stables with a feeding trough so you don't have to keep putting what in each individual horse would be great. And of course that also makes it easier to store them because right now you can't even decide which direction they look in, they always rotate back into one specific direction which gets kind of annoying actually. Next up, something to improve looking for high quality blood targets. I think blood hunger should stay enabled if you transform or ride a horse. Maybe also increase its range so you can just ride past humans to see if any of them have high quality blood. It's a little quality of life change but I think it would actually have a huge impact on how long it takes to find some good quality blood. Another blood related idea would be to also imprison creatures so we can keep 100% creature blood. We already see NPCs imprisoning creatures like in the bandit trapper camp so I think vampires should also be able to do that. Maybe in PvP you could even imprison other vampires with a system like in Ark Survival Evolved though I think you should have an actual in-game advantage for accomplishing that and it shouldn't be permanent. And last in this category, something really small but significant. Coordinates on the map. I've had such a hard time explaining to people where my base is. So far, I've always said something along the lines of two plateaus above the far southeast teleporter or the big plateau left of the bear cave. Coordinates would be so much easier. Now for the combat category. I'd love to see a mechanic where if you finish drinking the blood of an enemy, it heals you for the remaining amount of health. And for V-Blood carriers, it should heal you fully. That way, drinking blood during a fight might actually end up being useful and you can more quickly heal back up after you've just defeated a V-Blood carrier. Next, I'd love for transformations to be more viable in combat. I have this awesome wolf transformation, but I can't even attack with it? I'd love for most transformations to have some sort of attack like the bear, but also buff them a bit so they're actually useful in fights. I know it's a simple thing, but I think it adds to the immersion. And for the end of this category, I've got a big one. Think about the lore of V Rising for a second. Vampires were defeated by humans and are now slowly starting to rise again. Surely the humans are noticing this, right? I'd love if humans noticed your presence and occasionally raided your castle once it becomes too big. Something like the purge from Conan Exiles. They wouldn't completely destroy your castle, but they should cause enough damage for you to want to defend against it. Maybe the attackers would have higher quality blood or drop rare items, 
so you can get something out of it as well. This way, servants would also serve a more important role on PvE servers, where you can currently basically only use them to gather resources. It would also depend on where your castle is located. If it's located in the starter area, banners from the nearby camps would come raid you, which is of course a lot easier than if you were in the next harder region near Dunley, where priests would start raiding as well. I'm not sure if this is a controversial idea, but let me know what you think in the comments. Now, in the building category, I have three ideas. First, second stories, basements and staircases. Since I started playing, I found it really weird that you can only have one floor in your castle. I think V Rising is actually the only survival game where you can build a base where that's the case. At least from the ones I've played. So I think we should change that. I'd love to be able to build the castle from the trailers. So maybe even some triangle floors could be cool. Secondly, teleporters for your castle. This doesn't have to be a new building. For example, imagine if you could just walk through a mirror that you've previously linked up with another one and come out on the other side. That saves you a lot of time, just running through your castle from one crafting station to another. This network should probably be disabled when your castle is getting attacked though, or at least be slowed down. And lastly, traps for castle defense. I'd love some trap doors opening up into some spikes, gargoyles that shoot flames or come to life to defend the castle, or some magic traps slowing down attackers. Also, this would go really well with the idea of humans attacking your castle. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I stream on Twitch. Yes, I know, mandatory Twitch placement, but I do have a Twitch channel. Check it out. Thanks. <laughs> and now for the last category, utility. I think it would be great if we could color our armor, weapons, and buildings. I think a system like an arc would be perfect. Or if that doesn't work, maybe skins for buildings so we can finally have that marble castle we've always dreamt about. Or am I the only one? <laughs> Also, some general clan improvements would be great. An alliance system, so another clan can access the doors or storages you allow them to and see you on the map. Some friendly sieges so you can have fun trying to invade each other's castles or something similar would be amazing. This way, you could also team up with more people for a boss fight on PvP servers without having to be super careful with your attacks. Next up, I think any humans with worker blood you convert to servants should become a special type of servant. Butlers. They would take care of all the mundane tasks around the base. You could tell them to sort certain items into certain chests, close any open doors around the base, or maybe even station them next to a door to always open and close it when you go through or leave. They could also feed your prisoners to keep them alive and their misery low, turn on or off misbrazures depending on the time of day, or tend to your garden. And last but not least, I think servants in general should have more uses. Maybe you could make them follow you to assist you in a fight, make them mine resources on claimed castle grounds, patrol a certain area, or just stay in a spot and look cool next to your throne. And those were all the ideas I had. Like I said, if you have any other ones or a strong opinion on one of mine, let me know in the comments down below. I don't know if the devs watch videos like this, but if you enjoyed it, leave a like, and maybe if the devs see this and it has a lot of likes, they might take some of these ideas into consideration. But for now, thank you very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it, and as always, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!